Stannis sends for John through Melisandre, and on the way from Castle Black to the top of the wall, she shows him how she is never cold by allowing him to touch her cheek. She also asks if John is a virgin. John replies that he is not, and Melisandre replies that is a good thing. Later, she oversees the burning of Mance Raider, personally lighting the pyre and denouncing him as a king of lies, while proclaiming Stannis the only true king. However, Mance is mercifully shot with an arrow by John before he can catch fire. Melisandre intervenes in an argument between Selyse and Stannis over Shireen. This time, Melisandre quite firmly comes down on Stannis's side, and says that the Lord of Light doesn't care about Shireen's disfigurement, for Stannis's blood runs through her veins. After Selyse leaves, Melisandre inquires as to whether she will be left behind when Stannis marches on Winterfell. Stannis confirms that this time, she will come with him. Satisfied, Melisandre visits Jon Snow, offering a surprisingly mundane reason for him to join the battle. His familiarity with Winterfell's layout will provide a tactical advantage. Melisandre then proceeds to try and seduce Jon, undoing her dress and straddling him at his desk. She urges him to take her, as the Lord of Light made humans male and female for a reason, and to prove that he is on the side of life and not death. Jon resists, citing his vows, and the fact that Stannis wouldn't approve. Melisandre retorts that they shouldn't tell Stannis, and that he already broke his vows to lie with a woman, a woman who is now dead and need not hold John's heart. John admits that his feelings for Egret are still real even though she's gone. Melisandre does up her dress and departs, declaring, you know nothing, Jon Snow, the same words that Egret repeatedly said to him during their liaison, as well as being her last words. Melisandre departs Castle Black along with the rest of Stannis's army, riding next to him. During the march, the weather turns for the worse and a snowstorm delays his army. The storm crows have also fled in the night. Davos thinks that they should go back to Castle Black and wait out the weather since they do not have enough food, but Stannis stubbornly tells him that they will not retreat to Castle Black because he will not risk being known as, the king who ran. As winter will soon arrive, they also run the risk of being stuck at Castle Black for years, during which the Boltons will regain their strength. Melisandre speaks alone with Stannis and reminds him that they may need to sacrifice more king's blood in order to better their chances of winning the upcoming battle in the snow which they both saw in the flames, citing the deaths of Robb Stark and Joffrey as examples. When Stannis says that they have no chance of locating Gendry, Melisandre suggests that they sacrifice Shireen. Stannis is visibly shocked and disgusted by the suggestion, asking her if she has lost her mind. She tries to convince him by saying that Stannis must be the undisputed king when the long night comes, but he rebuffs her and orders her to leave his presence. However, an attack by Ramsay Bolton leaves Stannis's men and food supply diminished, after which Stannis reluctantly allows Melisandre to sacrifice Shireen along with several other victims. Shireen is brought towards Melisandre, after which she demands to see her father. Melisandre promises that it will all be over soon and Shireen is then tied to the pyre. She then offers a prayer to the Lord of Light, lighting the pyre without remorse and killing Shireen despite her screams for help to her parents. Selyse almost reaches her daughter but is restrained by Stannis' men. Melisandre smiles, satisfied that she has done her god's work. The next day, the temperature climbs and the snow melts rapidly, enough that the army can march at last. Melisandre tells Stannis that the Lord was true to his word and soon, Stannis will take Winterfell. Stannis gruffly pulls away from Melisandre's attempt to embrace him. When a soldier reports to Stannis that half of his army has deserted in the night, a result of Shireen's execution, and Melisandre's composure begins to waver. Immediately after, another soldier reports the discovery of Selyse's body. Her faith all but shattered, and probably fearing Stannis's wrath, Melisandre abandons Stannis, steals a horse and flees back to Castle Black. As she arrives, Jon and Davos intercept her. John asking after Stannis and Davos after Shireen. Melisandre does not answer, her blank, regretful expression being enough to confirm John and Davos's fears. Stannis is later killed during the Battle of Winterfell.